Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. All right, so we have our Kaspersky Security Center installed. We have our basic configuration in place. Now the next step is to manage few things. And to manage few things, first thing I would like to do is to create a group structure. To create a group structure, I have to come to app. Just click on the setting sign over here. So now if you see, I have my general settings and so many other things, but I want to go for server administration. And under server administration, you can see I have certain groups created. Um, it's pretty simple when you are talking about group creation. Uh, it's not very difficult thing. Uh, it's a pretty simple thing. What you can do is uh, you can go and uh, under this administration server, you have possibility to click on this manage devices and just click on new administration group provide the name and it will allow you to create the administration group like you can see over here for me I have created workstation and servers there are many other things you can do even configuration we'll talk about them slowly gradually but now the first thing which I want to show you is now I have things in place which are already there you can see my connection ports additional services events uh, repository many other things which are available over here. But I, I'm not going to touch anything right now. First thing I want to do is I want to deploy a client application, which is basically endpoint security to my target machine. So for that, if you see over here, I have workstation 01 and workstation 01 currently does not have any thing installed no Kaspersky is there over there what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to app server just to show you you remember maybe you might have seen my previous video where I have uh, run the discovery and in the discovery I have unassigned computers and you can see I have client 01 I have DC uh, and the other machines so what I'll do I will click on this machine and I can create a new task This is one way. Other way is, uh, let's say I want to deploy it on one of the machines. So what I can do is I can simply come choose the group I want to place this machine to, for example, workstation, and I can create a new device. I can say, for example, client zero one is the name of this machine and i can add it once i'll add this device it is created over here i can click on next over here and this device is now created but you see no visibility no network agent nothing over there i can simply click on this and create a new task for this particular device and same way i will be choosing the task what i need to do over here now going back to what we were doing let's say I have the devices which are already discovered using my discovery part and they are coming over here in unassigned devices now I'll select this client machine where I want to install an application I click on new task you can see it's almost similar thing you can see that Kaspersky Security Center 14.2 is there install application remotely task name it is showing like this so i will say um, install kaspersky and kaspersky endpoint security 12.2 remotely okay and i'll click on next over here over here now if you see it is asking me to select the package exchange mobile device server no my application which i want to target as kaspersky endpoint security over here along with that i can push the network agent so what it will do it will first install network agent and then it will install kaspersky endpoint security 12. i can separately install kaspersky network agent first and then do the other part but i can do it in one go 
because I don't have a Kaspersky security center network agent. So this using network agent will not work and it will push it through administration server. Now I can set up certain things, maximum number of concurrent downloads. If I am doing it on bulk machines, this is what I can select. Do not reinstall application if it is already there. So that means if Kaspersky endpoint security or network agent, same versions are already there, it will not do the same thing. And certain other policies are there like assign package installation and active directory group policies, which I'm not going to do prompt users to close running applications and so on. Install on all devices, install only on the device managed through this administration server. Do not move the computer or let's say if I want to move the computer after installing it to something, I will select over here. So now, right now it is, it is in unassigned computers, but you will see once the installation is complete, it will move this now machine to workstations. Now I'll click on next. Over here it says if the um, installation require restart, what should be the thing? Whether should whether it should just simply restart, whether it should prompt user for an action or do not restart the device and repeat prompt after every five minutes and force restart after 30 minutes. Force closure of application in blocked session that is something which you can also do i'm going to click on next over here now because i do not have network agent install i need to specify an account for that i'm going to specify where my administration account okay now this account is a uh, added i will click on select uh, select that account and click on next over here and it says open task details when creation is complete i can click on this and i'll finish it off now what it is doing it is creating a task and once the task is created it will open the details of that task now if you see over here this task is in scheduled state what is the task name? Install Kaspersky 12.2 remotely, which I created. I can see over here, it will show me the results. Currently, if you see, it is showing um, as scheduled. I can refresh this list to see any updates coming up. Okay, then I can look at the settings. I can go and look at the application settings. Schedules. If you see right now it is manual. I can change it to once immediately or whatever I want. I can look at the revision. So those kind of things I can see access rights and so on. Okay. Now what I can do over here is this is my task area where I can see this task available. So what was the task name we created? We created a task. Install Kaspersky uh, Endpoint Security 12.2 remotely. So if I may look over here, let me just go here and come back. And I should have my task available over here because I was under a specific group so it was not showing it but if you see over here now I have multiple tasks available over here but where is my task yeah it's here if you see Kaspersky security center administration server and you can see there is a task available over here which is stating uh, remotely but you remember this says currently manual so it will not trigger it so what i can do is i can schedule it or i can start this task manually over here i can of course do schedule it i can push it uh, the way i want but for now i have triggered this task now now if you see over here let's get into this and let's see what is the status over here.
now if you see now this task has triggered is running so what it is doing it is um, doing this part Kaspersky security center network agent client has been resolved this is the IP and for copying the data copying files to the specified location one more thing which is very important this location should be accessible from Kaspersky security center because first we will access this location and then dump this files over there the installation files over there and then trigger the installation over there if this location is not reachable for security reasons maybe some group policy or something the installation will fail because we will fail to copy the files installation files to that target location so you need to make sure your administration admin share is enabled and if you see over here for me also it is not enabled admin dollar is not working so what will happen most likely this task will fail for me you can see over here admin dollar is not accessible and you can see as i said your task is failing because the reason is it says cannot download the installation package through network agent because it is not installed on this device right why it has happened if you go back to your tasks right uh, in your settings what i explained you you are saying using network agent i wanted to show you this thing now if i say using network agent like this and mm -hmm. let me trigger this again most likely it will fail again because as i said i do not have access to this path unless you're until i do not have access to this path i will not be able to copy any data to the target device so i have to make sure my location which is admin share is enabled now how to enable is a different topic what i will do i will pause the recording i will enable this and i'll show you how does this work when this is accessible so if you see now i can access this admin dollar what was wrong in my case my firewall firewall was turned on on the client machine so i didn't have to do anything only the firewall had to be turned off which i did so if you see still failed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back uh, i can do one more thing i can go over here in schedule and i can do once or immediately and i can just simply save it and if you see now this has immediately triggered it and if you can see it is going to the same process it is trying to copy the files over here and i can show you this you can see this installation files are coming over here so it is copying the files in the temp folder and then of course it will trigger the installation from there so we'll just wait for it it takes little time of course so now if you see over here the installation service is running on this device already it has started running the installation process and if you go back over here we'll be able to see the percentage available over here what is the status going on slowly gradually you will see that this percentage is increasing and you will see that in some time this installation is completed of course what i would do i would not wait uh, and show you complete thing i will just stop the recording pause the recording and i'll resume it once this is done 
So if you see over here, if we refresh over here now, it says that it is 50%. It has reached to the 50% mark now. If I go here again, check the result. You can see the remote ha installation has completed on this device. Right? And this 50% will become 100% in some time. So you will be able to see that this is completed. On the other hand, if you go back to my workstation, you will see that Kaspersky Endpoint Security is already installed. And if I see over here, It is, though it is installed, but it is not activated yet. You can see that there is no license available because we have not activated it. So next step would be to activate this license. And for that, we'll see it in the other tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.